everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth electromagnetic field vfr 32 hertz z universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and to get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so today i want to talk about uh the flow of the universe and being in the presence of god and um uh, allowing things to be as they are okay so let's get into uh this so the flow of the universe is um all things right all things are constantly in flow um and you can tune into this right you can tune into the um the flow of the universe and you want to tune into the flow of the universe because this is what allows you to come into the presence of the um of the omniscience or this is what allows you to touch upon omniscience um and know thyself right you want to connect yourself with the flow of the universe through the electromagnetic field you want to resonate with it you want to connect with it you do this by connecting with the earth because the earth is going to allow you to tune into the frequency like a radio station you know you tune into a certain frequency and you access a certain channel and you start uh listening into language right you do the same thing with uh the electromagnetic field you tune yourself in like a radio and you can access a certain you can access certain channels through the electromagnetic field um and you can get various different understandings going right uh like listening to a radio station so you can do this once you start grounding yourself into the earth and you can pick up on knowledges that are um right there in the akash the ether the space uh the records the akashic records right you can tune into these um and you can uh educate yourself through the akashic records you don't actually need institutions right uh you can always use institutions but you don't actually need them because you can educate yourself completely free through the akashic records right so it's most definitely the be the better option because uh the akashic records is going to educate you more purely than what uh, an institution can do for you right because it allows you to break beyond space and time where institutions are kind of bounded by these things still right uh so so you connect with the the earth's electromagnetic field and this is as simple as grounding yourself daily right um take your shoes off ground yourself plant your feet in the ground and make sure you're grounded and that the negative uh the negative charge or discharge is taking place which is going to allow you to balance yourself out because if you don't uh you can become imbalanced being too positively charged and this can create disease right uh which then kind of puts you in a disconnected state eventually so you ground yourself right uh this is most definitely um the most simplest way to be able to connect yourself with the earth listen to nature the nature sounds or the sounds of nature are extremely healing because they're on a whole different frequency they're on a whole different wavelength other other than what you're listening to when it comes to the technological network right uh the internet the things on the internet are are uh unresonant or disresonant and they're unhealthy for you a lot of the frequency or a lot of these sounds coming from the phone or the tv or anything you're watching on the internet is is unresonant 
right um it's off it's not universally harmonious right and it can create disease within your body it can create uh disharmony right uh which is why you kind of generate this addiction for for uh putting your attention your energy more into the into technology or technological uh objects you know like the phone or the tv you find yourself on social media or um video games or netflix whatever it is eight hours a day you know um or seven hours a day right so you kind of get addicted to this this radiation you start consuming the radiation from the cell phone because it's it's uh it's supporting a certain system of imbalance which we have been conditioned to thrive off of right because the society supports the thriving off of the imbalance and um it also conditions you to to feel as though you can't really change anything because this is the way uh everybody is functioning right uh but you kind of got to break away from the crowd as much as you can and you got to uh balance yourself even if the whole society is pushing for imbalance uh you got to you got to do balancing right come into your center into the center of being into the heart uh touch upon a state of oneness right the tree of life the heart center and regenerate your health life life is health right when you're picking up life in video games your health bar goes up if your health bar is low then you're going to die and you're probably going to start hearing various different uh ringings right telling you to pick up health before uh you die right if you're living in a low health state then you're on the edge of death and uh they like to keep a lot of people like this right uh because it helps them to keep uh control over those people who are in low states of health or in weakness right i'm weak i need health uh is what you usually say in a video game so you got to pick up health you got to pick your health up so that you get stronger or that you can balance yourself um as much as you can you know uh but i want to say that there's only a certain maximum of of health that you can actually reach in certain areas of society uh until you can like leave or or get out of society and uh find deeper states of of uh balance and health right um because this is what conditioning is all about conditioning keeps you in a certain wavelength keeps you in a certain uh state of awareness so that you can function as a person in society playing a certain role right uh and their systems to 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 keep all of the various different roles or persons in their function right uh so you can't ever reach or go past a certain limit that has already been put into place uh subconsciously into the collective right um so 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 you got to um simplify things right come to the heart come to your heart center center yourself balance yourself the heart is the center and it's where you're going to derive energy or life from um ground yourself connect to the earth's electromagnetic field listen to the sounds of nature more because the sound of nature are very healing you know if you go and listen to the birds if you go and listen to the wind rustling in the tree or the trees rustling everything is very harmonious it's a song that is playing constantly 24/7 and that's the song when you tune into is going to allow you to access deeper and deeper intelligence and that intelligence is a sign or that expanding intelligence along with consciousness is a sign of rising health right um uh, the deeper you're able to go into your intelligence or the deeper um you're able to to experience that harmoniousness or even um 
touch upon the the creation then you uh are generating a health again right when you're out of when you're out of it you kind of are um on the verge of death you start hearing the little uh ringing because your your health bar is low like in a video game uh is depicting that it's trying to get your attention you need health the subconscious will tell you this it's gonna flash certain things in the back of your mind and then it's gonna start manifesting in your in your reality so that that low health bar ringing to tell you that you need more health can get your attention so that you can actually get pick up more health right this is exactly what the subconscious does uh it kind of starts ringing and then that ring can manifest itself exteriorly inside your conscious reality and if it needs to it'll reflect itself in another person to tell you that you need to get your health up right so um so so this is why you gotta uh kind of observe more you know expand the awareness observe what is taking place in your life and let things flow so you can understand them in clarity right um because as you let things flow and as you get in tune with the universal flow you can start flowing with it right um and the deeper that you're able to touch or or dive into it or or um the deeper you're able to go into the flow of the universe you have the realization the self-realization expands and you understand that uh that you're in the flow you know that you're always in the flow um but you can go deeper and deeper into the flow you can't ever you can't ever get out of the flow because the flow is universal and you're and you're the universe right uh you're no different from the universe you're not separate from it because separation is an illusion it doesn't exist but um, you can go deeper and deeper into the flow, right? Which is what you want to do. You want to go as deep into the flow as you can so that you can um, be ultra harmonious with existence, which is um, which is like transpers transpersonifying in a way. It allows you to transcend uh, the ego the deeper you're able to go into the flow of the universe right and it's very healing to be in the flow of the universe because um it's very fluid it's like water water is a very healing element when you connect yourself with with water it allows you to regenerate damages uh deep in the subconscious right uh which there's a warfare in the subconscious mind so the more that you get in tune with the flow of the universe you can easily heal very deep psychological uh subconscious traumas that have been placed there in your childhood and everybody has these everybody and everybody has these right everybody has a very deep subconscious psychological trauma right because this is uh how society works this is part of the conditioning as well that the way it functions is that we are um Pick, we pick up trauma in our childhood everybody has that so the one way to heal it or at least open it up so that you can know that something's there that needs its attention you get in tune with the universal flow right uh and like water it heals you very very deeply emotionally as well um so it's very simple you can start you can start by grounding yourself or just spending more time out in nature. Nature is the catalyst for being able to open yourself up vibrationally, which is needed for you to take the process of ascension in an accelerated um, manner, right? So uh, that's going to be it for today's video. I do thank everybody for watching. Once again, peace out, one love, and have a great evening.